Lydia here from Creator Studios, and today we're going to be checking out some of Tesla's aluminum metal filament. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so, um, Tesla, just like I told you guys in my other video, sent me three other, box, uh, three other boxes of filament. Um, this is one of them. It is the aluminum metal PLA filament. Um, I think this is this is only a 500 gram spool, um, but they also sent me some yellow and pink or purple PLA, and then a whole bunch of sample filaments, which is really cool. They also sent me some sample of copper filament, so um, I might print with some of that in this video. So just like the other Tesla box, it just comes with the information here. And then um, it lets you know what kind of filament it is. It says metal, aluminum, and then I'm pretty sure it's like the tracking number or something on this. Um, these filaments came in a big box, so I do not know what you would get uh, if you purchased this. But just taking it out, it is in a very airtight bag, just like this. Again, this is a 500 gram spool, so it's really small. And it does not have... A Ziploc um, bag on it so we can just cut it open with this and again it is very airtight sealed so um, and this one has a desiccant pack in it which the other one didn't that I did a review on but then this one does um, also have the saran wrap around it to keep it unwounded Okay, so once this is off, ooh, this is a nice, um, smooth filament. It is not a bad wound like the last one. As you can see, this is all straight. And this filament has a nice, smooth texture to it. It's kind of shiny um, for the aluminum. And it is gray because it is aluminum. And then on the sticker here, it says Metal PLA 1.75 color aluminum. Um, temperature is only 210 Celsius and up, so that's surprising. But I do have my all metal hot end set up, so that should work really well with this. And um, I guess that's all. These spools are pretty plain. Um, I do not have my uh, TiVo Tornado printer yet. I'm not really sure if that's coming anymore. Um, I've lost contact with Chris Leonardo. But hopefully, I'm still going to keep my hopes up for that printer. But right back here, as you can see, I got my original Z-Pro Zim printer back. Now, this is the printer I first bought for about $150. But then realized once I got it that the company was done. Um, so I sent it off to one of my old neighbors who is a tech guy. And he's had it for about a year now. And I finally got it back. He got it working. And now we're just hooking it up to my Wi-Fi and all that and trying to get it to work. So hopefully I will be printing on that printer also. So I will have two printers. But again, still waiting for that TiVo Tornado. So let's just hop on the TiVo Tarantula that is working and see how well this aluminum filament prints. Alright guys, welcome back. A couple days later, all these prints are finished. Um, but before we talk about that, I just want to let you guys know that this printer back here that I started talking about in the beginning of this video is getting a lot of progress. I've gotten it to print now. I'm just calibrating it with a calibration cube. But hopefully I will be printing with that pretty soon once everything gets up and working and I get some nice prints. So starting off with this filament, um, to be honest, I don't really think it is a metal filament because when I printed it, the first one I printed was this Maker Coin, and it doesn't feel like metal filament. It just feels like a aluminum colored PLA, and it is. It didn't print out the best, in my opinion. Um, I think it could have been better. I'm not sure if it was just my printer or not, um, but you guys will see close up the um, mess ups and stuff on the prints. Some of them I did print together, so there was some stringing, and you can see what happened when it would go from each print. So I didn't really like this filament, to be honest. Um, I think it's a cool color and everything. It was just a little hard to print with. First, I didn't want to stick to my bed, and I am using glass with glue stick. Um, but eventually, I did get it to stick, so these prints came out great. Some of them came out good. Um, the, I think the best one was this rocket ship, and again, I will show you guys up close. 
So um, let's just check out all these prints a little closer. So starting off with the first print, again, like I said, is our Maker Coin. Now, this thing came out the greatest, but I did think it came out pretty cool. These overhangs under here did terrible. Um, I had my fan on the whole entire time with support, and it just didn't handle it very well. You can see there's a lot of beading and some screw-ups here on this overhang. There's beading here, under here. I don't really know what happened. Flipping it over, there was a tiny bit of gapping here and also here. I just don't really know why this filament didn't want to print nicely. I really expected it to print really cool, but these prints didn't turn out the greatest. So our next print was this 3D Benchy. Now this one was almost the worst one out of all of these. You can see there's a whole bunch of beading here. There's some leftover extra filament here. The top didn't do the greatest. You can see there's a lot of extra filament on the side. These overhangs did really bad. Around all of this didn't do the best. Now this is a this shape came out perfectly fine. Usually I have a little drooperiness here, but that did not happen on this filament on this print. Um, but again, I really like this color. I think it's cool, but it didn't print very well. So the next print is this little cool Marvin. Now I didn't really expect this to print very well because it didn't print well on any of my other prints, but I just want to see how it would turn out. Um, these overhangs again here didn't do very good. And I don't really know what happened here. Like I said earlier, the bottom wouldn't stick very well. So maybe the bottom first later layer came off and just screwed up the bottom here. So this wasn't a very great print. Next, I printed these two little keychains. As you guys know, I designed these keychains with my logo on them. And you know, they did okay. The bottom layers did actually better than most of all these prints. But there was again some gapping and I don't really know why my, multiple, my extrusion multiplier was up higher um, because I did notice this in some of the other prints but it just didn't fill in the tops. There was five top layers, I believe, and it didn't do very well. Next, what we have here is what's supposed to be a miniature bionic hand. Now, I don't think this was the filament's problem, but this bionic hand does not work. So it's supposed to print like this with the bed down here and should be able to bend the fingers when you push this thing inside. Now, it does Definitely doesn't do that. The fingers broke off when I tried to bend them. Um, and I'm not really sure what kind of infill this was, but I'm pretty sure it was the way I sliced it was the problem, it doesn't work. But again, there's all this beading, as you can see right here with this filament. I'm not really sure why the temperature was correct and I had the cooling, on the cooling fan on the entire time. So again, I don't really know why all this beating happened. Next, what we have here is a little 3D fill. Now this was a pretty cool print, just like all the other 3D fills I print. And again, this was printed right next to the 3D Benchy. And as you can see here, where it transferred back and forth from the Benchy to the fill, it didn't do very well. It left all these beatings and the bottom layer did okay. You can see there's a little globbing here. This is the one that I had the most problem with sticking to the bed. The on underhangs, overhangs here didn't do very well or on the hands. They usually do great on most filaments, but this filament not. This is 20% infill, so they should have done better than they did. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you like this video. Even though this filament didn't do the best, I really wish it would have because then I would be able to print cooler things but I don't want them all to turn out really bad. I might print a skull, a dinosaur skull or something, just like this one. I printed this um, last night and I think it turned out really cool. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram and I will link that in the description below and on my Twitter. Um, I really like this print and I'm actually printing another red one over here. Uh, update, I still do not have the TiVo Tornado. Um, I talked to uh, another YouTuber, the top um, YouTuber girl on, in 3D printing, um, I forgot what her name is, 
uh, but I will put a link in the description to her channel because she did tweet out along with uh, Make It Fake It on Twitter to and shared my video and so a big thanks to you guys um, that helped me grow and now we hit 200 subscribers which is really cool um, so hopefully I will be getting that printer because she did talk to Chris and we'll be talking to him pretty soon so again I'm sorry this filament didn't turn out the best but thank you again Tesla for sending me this filament I did have a lot of fun printing with it and experimenting so I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.